Welcome to the Hot Wheels ID Games, the next evolution of racing. This is the Top Speed Tournament. Only the fastest cars will advance from each round. The slowest car is eliminated. Let's scan in our competitors. From the Street Beasts, Scorpedo. Scorpedo is known for its speed and agility. And watch out for that stinger. Next up, representing Hot Wheels Metro, Highway Hauler. Highway Hauler drives like it has a turbocharged engine. From the Moving Forward collection, let's hear it for Hot Wheels 50 Concept. This hot rod drives like it has a V10 engine with all-wheel drive. From Hot Wheels Race Team, Rally Finale! This European rally car is the defending champion thanks to its rear wing for added stability. Alright, the cars are ready, the Hot Wheels ID portal is ready. Let's fire up the speeder mini game and get ready to race. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that was fast! Let's take a closer look at our slow motion instant replay. Highway Hauler just can't keep up. It's built for high speed delivery, but its boxy design caught too much air resistance going down the ramp, resulting in a slow scale speed at the race portal. Rally Finale had the top speed in round one with 334 miles per hour. Scorpedo, Hot Wheels 50 Concept, and Rally Finale are on to round two. We're in for quite a show, race fans. It's round two, and the top speed ramp is bigger and more difficult than ever. The cars now stunt through loops before clocking their scale speed through the race portal. Each loop kicker is loaded with potential energy that gets transferred to kinetic energy when the cars trigger the kicker. More kinetic energy equals more speed, and that's what it'll take to win the top speed tournament. Our racers are ready. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, now that's what I call speed. Hot Wheels 50 Concept was the first through the loops and kept its winning speed thanks to its sleek aerodynamic profile. Tough break for Rally Finale. Although it is built for racing, its lightweight design lost momentum through the loops and Rally Finale is eliminated. All right, Scorpedo and Hot Wheels 50 Concept are on to the championship. Our first finalist from the Street Beast is Scorpedo. Scorpedo has clocked a top scaled speed of 334 miles per hour and is primed for success with its heavier weight and stinger for stability. And now from the Moving Forward collection, Hot Wheels 50 Concept. It's clocked a top scale speed of 332 miles per hour and its all wheel drive should help it stay on the track. These cars need just enough speed to stunt the jump. If they hit it just right, they're onto the winner's circle. Too slow and they fall into the gap. Too fast and they fly off the track. Oh man, I'm nervous just looking at this thing. Let's race. Three, two, one, go. That's it, it's all over. I can't believe what I just saw. Let's take a closer look. Although Scorpedo has trouble sticking the landing, he regained his speed thanks to his weight and stability. Ladies and gentlemen, your new top speed champion, Scorpedo! Congrats to Scorpedo! You've earned your upgrades in the Hot Wheels ID app. Take that top speed into city mode. You are the top speed champion. Welcome to the Hot Wheels ID games, the next evolution of racing. This is the fastest lap tournament. Only the fastest cars will advance from each round. Each car gets five laps to prove it. The slowest car is eliminated. Let's get to racing. First up, your defending champion from the Street Beast, Shark Hammer. Shark Hammer is equipped with a fluid drive power plant for a quiet and scary ride. Let's race. Three, two, one. Go! Oh, 
Oh, wow, what a time. Shark Hammer comes in just under one second. Let's take another look at our instant replay. Check out how Shark Hammer keeps its speed around these bank turns. Let's scan in our next competitor from the Moving Forward Collection, Mock Speeder. With its high-tech design, Mock Speeder is a great choice for going fast around the smart track. Mock Speeder, start your booster. And Mock Speeder currently sits in second with a .962 lap time. All right, let's scan in our next competitor. From Hot Wheels Metro, Time Taxi. Time Taxi is a drift style car designed with intakes through the hood and a front mounted intercooler for powerful performance. Time Taxi, it's time to shine. Oh, what a finish in just over one second. Let's take a closer look at our slow-mo instant replay. Looks like Time of Taxi's boxy design caught wind drag down the straightaway. All right, let's scan in our final racer for round one. Representing the Nightburners, GT Hunter. This racer is designed to go the distance and is built for easy handling. Perfect for the smart track. Oh, a blistering lap time. Shark Hammer, Mock Speeder, and GT Hunter are on to round two. It's round two, and we've added a loop to the Smart Track. The Smart Track loop is designed for high speed stunting, but the cars need just the right amount of speed to stunt through the loop. Not enough speed, and gravity pulls them to the ground. Too much speed, and the cars get launched out of the track. All right, let's see how these cars do in round two. As you can see, Mock Speeder was designed for speed. Its low to the ground design will help keep its speed coming out of the loop. Can you believe what you're seeing? Mock Speeder records a time just over 1.4 seconds. Talk about next level Hot Wheels racing. We still have lots of high racing speed to get to. All right, Shark Hammer is up. Its aerodynamic design is powered by shark fins for added control at top speeds. Oh, these lap times might be a new record. Shark Hammer crosses the finish line in just over 1.3 seconds. Let's see that again in an instant replay. Wow, Shark Hammer kept its speed coming out of the loop and cruises to a fast finish. All right, it all comes down to GT Hunter's lap time. Let's see how our final racer of round two can do. Oh, but it's not enough to top Mock Speeder's time. GT Hunter's rear spoiler is perfect for keeping its wheels on the track, but it won't be enough to move on. Let's go to the leaderboard for our championship round. Shark Hammer and Mock Speeder are on to the finals. Our first finalist from the Street Beast is Shark Hammer. Shark Hammer clocked a top scale speed of 172 miles per hour and has traveled two scale miles today on the Smart Track. Our second contender from moving forward is Mock Speeder. Mock Speeder's scale speed is topped out at 171 miles per hour during the competition. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the championship race, and the smart track is at max distance with a jump added for the ultimate challenge. And for this race, both cars are racing on the smart track at the same time. The fastest lap wins the title. Mock Speeder takes the lead with 1.63 seconds. Can Shark Hammer go faster? Last lap. Oh no, that's it. It's all over! Mock Speeder wins with a time of 1.630 seconds. What a race! Let's take another look at the fastest lap tournament. 
And now, let's throw it to the winner's circle to celebrate our new fastest lap champion, Mock Speeder! Congrats to Mock Speeder. You've earned your upgrades in the Hot Wheels ID app. Take that fastest lap into city mode. You are the top speed champion. Welcome to the Hot Wheels ID Games, the next evolution of racing. This is the Slingshot Challenge. Our four teams are ready to prove they have the coolest collection through the Slingshot minigame. Most points wins. The Hot Wheels ID cars will race down the track through the portal and launch into the Hot Wheels ID app. Each team scores by completing stunts. They can fly through hoops, knock down boxes, record a top speed, or catch big air with height or distance. After each completed stunt, the team gets five more seconds on the clock. The team with the highest slingshot score wins. Let's meet the first team. First to enter the garage, the Street Beasts. Howlin' Heat. Motosaurus. And Shark Hammer. Let's see what these Street Beasts can do. Let's bring in the Hot Wheels ID app screen to follow the action. Three, two, one, go! Timing is critical to this game. The Street Beasts need to hit the ramp at the right angle to score. Each score adds five seconds onto the clock. Keep scoring for more time. One hoop and one box for this jump. Let's see it. Shark Hammer swims through the air to score for the Street Beasts. Oh, Motosaurus gets 65 distance and Shark Hammer nails the boxes. Now that's teamwork. Ah, 219 scale miles per hour is plenty of speed. Let's take another look at that epic run. Motosaurus roars through two hoops for 100 more. Let's send it back to the slingshot. Time's up for the Street Beasts. Wow, the Street Beasts kick off the competition with a great score of 550 points. All right, next up, let's hear it for moving forward. Hot Wheels 50 Concept. Nightburner. And Mock Speeder. Three, two, one, go! The score to beat is 550. Five more seconds. Each score adds more time to the clock. Nightburner flies through the hoop for 50 points. Oh, 50 points for moving forward. Watch out, Street Beasts. Wow, 100 points for a double hoop jump. Moving forward is closing in on the lead. They're just 100 points away from tying the Street Beasts. Whoa, wait! Mock Speeder sneaks in there for 100 more points and earns more time! Five, four, three, two. Oh, what a comeback! Moving forward takes the lead off the bounce. Time is running out. What a close finish. Moving forward moves into first place with a score of 650 points. Two teams left, let's go. Next up is the Hot Wheels race team. Oval Drive. Super Blitzen. And Roger Dodger. Three, two, one, go! The score to beat is 650 points. More scoring means more time. 
50 points for Hot Wheels Race Team. Nice hoop box combo by Super Blitzen. Oh, speed and boxes on this round. Hot Wheels Race Team goes back to back to back. Height, hoops, and boxes in one jump. Epic! 100 points for Hot Wheels Race Team. Oval Drive goes the distance and Roger Dodger cleans up the boxes. Hot Wheels Race Team steals the lead. Let's see that massive air again. Oval Drive scaled speed of 235 miles per hour launches it into another dimension to secure the lead. Let's get back to the action. Oh, a huge 250 point jump! Oh, a huge 250 point jump brings them to 1,750 points! Oh, time's up! Hot Wheels Race Team cruises to the top of the leaderboard! All right, only one team left. They sure have their work cut out for them. Last but not least, the Hot Wheel Greats! Bone Shaker! Rip Rod! And Twin Mill! All right, let's see if the Hot Wheels greats can complete the upset. Three, two, one, go! Ah, oh, there's a perfect hoop for another 50 points. One hoop and one box for the score. Oh, the Hot Wheel greats are already up to 200 points. Did I say 200? I meant 350. Watch how Twin Mill screams down the ramp to a scaled speed of 193 miles per hour for the perfect arc into the hoop and box for 100 points. And now back to the action. Watch out, they're up to 1,000. Oh yes, there's 250 points for Hot Wheels Great. It's not over yet. Wow, 240 scaled miles per hour is the fastest we've seen today, but the ramp was too low to smash the boxes. Oh, they're jumping too low. If they hit the ramp when it's up, they might do this. Oh, that was high enough, but Rip Rod was too slow. Time's up. Oh, the Hot Wheels greats come up just short with a score of 1,500. Super Blitzen, Roger Dodger, and Oval Drive from the Hot Wheels Race Team are the Slingshot Champions. They've earned a bonus round with real boxes. Oh, big air. I can't believe it. Blast off. Now that's what I call next level Hot Wheels. Way to go, Hot Wheels Race Team. Welcome to the Hot Wheels ID Games, the next evolution of racing. This is the Hyper Hoop Challenge. Four teams of Hot Wheels cars set out to prove they have the coolest collection. Time to prove it. The Hot Wheels ID cars will race down the track, through the portal, and launch into the Hot Wheels ID app. The cars get points for landing in the hoops and score more points the farther they jump. These cars need the right scaled speed and timing to win. The team with the highest hyper hoop score wins. Let's meet the first team. First up, let's hear it for the Street Beasts. Howlin' Heat. Motosaurus. And Arachnorod. All right, let's see what these street beasts can do. All right, the street beasts need to hit the ramp at just the right scaled speed to jump far and hit a high score. Three, two, one, go! They have 60 seconds to jump through as many hoops as they can. Oh, right off the gorilla's head. Arachnorod. 
Todd puts one on the board with 50 points. Sora scores off the bounce. Arachnorod with its second hoop. And Howlin Heat lands the first 100 pointer for the Street Beat. Whoa, a double 100. Another 50 points for Motosaurus. Oh, now they're cooking. Another 50 points for Motosaurus. Time's up for the Street Beast. What a start to this epic Hyper Hoop contest. The Street Beasts have set the bar high with a score of 700 points. Three teams still left to go. Next up, the Nightburners. Solid Muscle. GT Hunter. And Night Shifter. The score to beat is 700 points. Three, two, one, go! Oh, they are overshooting everything. Oh, that poor gorilla. And Solid Muscle finally lands 50 points for the Nightburners. Oh, another miss. Only 30 seconds left. Come on, Nightburners. There we go. Solid Muscle jumps into 100 points. That's 50 more for GT Hunter. Night Shifter grabs 100 more points. Eight seconds left. 50 points, another 50. Oh, and 100 points. Another 50 points at the buzzer. The Nightburners score 550 points. The Street Beasts hold on to their lead with 700 points. Two teams left, let's see who's next. Introducing the Hot Wheels race team. Super Blitzen. Roger Dodger. And Rally Finale. Three. Two, one, go! This race team is designed to move fast on the track, but can they handle the Hyper Hoop Challenge? Oh, they're off to a fast start with 200 points. Super Blitzen for 50 points. Rally Finale lands 50 points for the race team. That's another 50 points for Roger Dodger. 20 seconds left. Gee, ouch, too much speed on that one. Wow, Roger Dodger bounces in and out for a double 50 points. There it is, the first 250 hoop of the day from Super Blitzen. Yes, 100 points in the last second. All right, Hot Wheels race team zooms into the lead with a high score of 800 points. <laughs> I gotta see that again. Super Blitzen hits the portal at a scaled speed of 153 miles per hour, flies off the middle jump, takes a hard bounce off the 50 point hoop, and just barely rolls in to the 250 point hoop. Street Beasts move into second place with 700 points, and the Nightburners sit in third place with 550 points. There's only one team left to top the Hot Wheels race team. The final team to take on the Hyper Hoop Challenge, moving forward. Hot Wheels 50 concept. Nightburner. And Mock Speeder! They have to beat 800 points to win the Hyper Hoop Challenge. Three, two, one, go! Just 
like that, Hot Wheels 50 Concept scores 50 points on the first jump. Mox Speeder with another 50. And Nightburner puts 100 on the board. Wait, that's a perfect clip for another 100 points. Only 20 seconds left. Can they do it? Hot Wheels 50 Concept uses the backboard for 250 points. Mox Speeder with 100 points. 10 seconds left. Another 100 from Nightburner. Oh, and that's it. Mox Speeder locks it up with 100 points. Game over! Ugh, what an unbelievable round for moving forward. The winners of our Hyper Hoop Challenge with 950 points. Hot Wheels Race Team takes second with 800 points. The Street Beast roar into third with 700 points. And the Nightburners in fourth place with 550 points. All right, let's throw it to the winner circle to celebrate your Hyper Hoop Champions, the Moving Forward Team. Hot Wheels 50 Concept, Nightburner, and Mock Speeder from Moving Forward are the Hyper Hoop Champions. Now that's what I call next level Hot Wheels racing. That's all for today, Hot Wheels fans. Thanks for watching.